Hello everyone, it's Jim again. I'm going to be doing another reaction again. And this time I'm going to react to the Brian Amps of his newest video that he's uploaded today. The video of his I'm going to react to is called Burger King's New Mexican Chicken Sandwich is Amazing. I knew, let me rephrase that, I butchered that up a bit. Burger King's New Mexican Chicken Sandwich is Surprising. So yeah, I'm going to react to it. So before anyone start, I want to get a disclaimer. And I do apologize for putting the putting the last part of the, of the the last part in the you know in the title. I do apologize for that. So before you even start, so yeah, before you even start, I want to give a disclaimer. If you do not like the content I make, the reaction fails, or any of the other stuff I do on my channel, if you don't like them, then don't watch it because first, because the only thing you can be doing is giving me a view, and that's the damn truth, one. That's the damn truth, and nothing but the truth. So yeah, so now without further ado, let's get to the video. Right now, let's get it right now. Mm. Okay, from Burger King, we have this brand new Mexican... Mm. What are they calling it? Mexican mm. Original Chicken Sandwich. Mm. That's what they're calling it. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a cutting board, because I already know that we're going to do some doctoring to this thing. Uh. I also learned that... They used to have, okay, the, I did the uh, the spicy king, and oh. apparently that used to be a, di a different piece of chicken. It used to be, oh. like, hand-breaded and bigger and better and everything about it. The first time I did it, it uh, or the last time I did it, it was a tiny piece of chicken. I think this is what we're getting ourselves into here. Oh. As far as I know, this is the same piece of chicken that I, you know, had growing up. So I'm going to put it right here on this cutting board, oh. and we're going to see what we're getting ourselves into. So, you get, it, it, it's a sesame seed bun, chicken patty. And then you get spicy queso sauce and crispy jalapenos. Oh, yeah. um, remember when I went to, I did the spicy White Castle, uh, the, 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 the Joes, the Sloppy oh, Joes. Oh, yeah, I and think I reacted to that. Uh, yes. I think I reacted to that video. So, let me see if I can get this. You're, if you haven't off. seen that video, go and check it out. You, you get, get, queso, or you get you find spicy it. queso, and you get the the uh, the, sp the jalapenos on here. Oh, yeah. uh, it doesn't look half terrible, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Um... I think that the, the, the real problem here is going to be the chicken. And that's the one thing I'm not going to be able to solve today. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to eat half of it, and we're going to dock to the other half of it. Huh. So, there's a little cross-section of it. Huh. See, the, the cheese is actually, like, getting on my fingers a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's not the worst case I've ever had. Huh. Okay. Um, it doesn't look good. I think it might taste better than it looks, though. Hmm. But we will see. So you're getting cheese. Yeah. Oh, you see, bonus points to you, Burger King. You're getting cheese on the top and the bottom. Hmm. Top and the bottom of the sandwich get the cheese. And, but you only get the crispy jalapenos on hmm. the uh, the top of it. So let's see how it is. All things considered, that's not bad. Huh. That's not bad at all. The queso is actually pretty tasty. Hmm. Um, I'm, the, the jalapenos, like, there could be a billion more jalapenos on there. And, like, hmm. actually add a little bit of crunch to it. But, like, the cheese is extremely artificial tasting, but hmm. it still kind of tastes good. It's, like, it's the experience you get, like, with, like, a, a burger, a smash burger or something like that, where you kind of want to go American because, hmm. American cheese, because, like, that artificialness to it like makes the experiment experience better and that is what is happening here um, the piece of chicken is awful huh. it's just like it's just the nature of the beast with burger king's chicken it's just not good chicken huh. um uh, at least it's kind of juicy but oh, yeah. it just tastes like a, 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 a bad chicken nugget huh. but i'm not that mad about this but we can make it better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top off of it huh. i've never had these before but these are huh. um from tongue spank <laughs> Because they're cowboy candy, so these are oh. um, candied um, jalapenos. So we're going to use these to replace their jalapenos. Mm. Um, and hopefully they're going to be darn tasty. So I'm going to take a bunch of their jalapenos. Oh, boy. Brian, your mouth's going to be on fire. And for our cheese. All right, so this is, um, I believe I actually have had, have had this before. This is from Milton Creamery. It's their four-alarm cheddar. Mm. And it's got... Um, where are you? It's got chili peppers, whatever that is, but it's got ghost pepper, jalapenos, and chipotles, which I think is going to be a really good combination. So we're going to add a couple slices of this 
uh, cheese to as well. And I'm going to toss this under a broiler. And we're going to come right back. And we're going to try this again a little, a little doctored up. Huh. So let me try to get some thin slices that are going to, going to broil real well. And then we're going to go ahead and just load this. Oh boy. Right back on here. All right, one clap, we're going to be back. Hmm. All right, and we're back. So the sandwich is not bad, but if you basically replace absolutely every item on the sandwich, it can hmm. be even better. Hmm. So I went ahead and broiled the cheese and jalapeno situation. I'm going to add uh, Dos Locals from Char. Oh because boy. I think the one thing that this is missing. It's like a creamy aspect of it that's going to like replace this fake queso that Burger King did. So, hmm. the queso's not bad, but it needs a creamy aspect of it, and that's what this Dos Locals is going to do. So, put some on top bun. Hmm. Buy him. We'll see how it is. Hmm. It's, like, it's like not fair how good this is. Hmm. Like, I'm not even... I don't even taste the chicken anymore. There's just like one texture of mushy wonderfulness. Hm. But dear God. Burger King, you better take notes on that. That was unbelievable. That is like the that is absolutely the best thing that I've fixed so far. These freaking <clears throat> this freaking candy jalapenos, these cowboy candy from Tongue Spank is insane. And this cheese is ridiculous. So very, very good. All right, I mean, the Burger King sandwich wasn't terrible. It's like, at, believe it or not, it's actually one of the better, like, fast food things I've had recently. I don't know why everything's got to be a fried chicken. Like, why is everything fried chicken right now? But it's, it's like, fried chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, like, I don't know. I'm not sure why everything's got to be fried chicken right now, but that's just the nature of the fast food business at the moment. Anyways, that was fantastic. Burger King, wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but I made it light years better. My God. Um, have you had the sandwich? Did you have the exact same experience that I did? Like... I'm interested to know your thoughts on this or how you think the series is going thus far. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. I want your feedback. I'm having a lot of fun. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the sub... And I'm going to be stopping the video right there. So, yeah, and that's again, it's Rexville. And I hope you guys like this Rexville. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys do like it. If you don't, then I don't care. And don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and turn on the all on where every time I upload. And share my videos and react videos to your friends, family, and also if you want to, it's your choice. Because I ain't making you. So yeah. And don't forget to don't forget to subscribe to Brian Amps if you do subscribe to his channel. If you haven't yet subscribed yet, subscribe. Subscribe. And yeah, roll to two gay subscribers. We can hit it. And uh see y'all for more banger content come and more banger react videos. So yeah and I'll see you on the next time. Jeffrey Jordan signing off, and peace out, Stoner Legends, and peace out, everyone.